It is known that the Princess of Wales is undergoing chemotherapy and will be stepping back from royal duties for an undetermined period of time. Initial reports suggesting that the public would not be able to see her until at least June. However, the recent announcement from the palace about the princess's upcoming engagement has sparked anticipation and excitement among royal enthusiasts around the world, following her reveal about needing time to focus on recovery during cancer treatment. Despite undergoing a challenging health journey, recent updates on Catherine's health has captured the public's attention. Today, we bring you news. Doctor provides new detail about cancer status and indicates positive progression in her recovery. According to the cancer specialist, the post-operative diagnosis of the Princess of Wales might represent a positive indicator for the prognosis, and her cancer treatment process considered a positive side recovery. According to a cancer specialist from New Zealand, the fact that the Princess of Wales' malignancy was discovered after surgery may indicate that the tumor was quite tiny. A report emerged that Catherine had recently turned a corner with her treatment. It's been a great relief that she's tolerating the medication and is actually doing a lot better. Royal insiders added that the Prince and Princess of Wales' inner circle has rallied around them. Furthermore, the researchers have made it obvious that this is considered preventative treatment. Said Dr. Kate Gregory, who serves as a co-ed manager of the Cancer Society, without understanding the exact sort of cancer that the princess is afflicted with, it will be difficult to provide a more precise prognosis for her cancer. Survival rates have significantly risen across the board in the preceding half-century, with certain malignancies seeing a greater rise in survival than others. In light of the reality that the tumor was discovered after an operation, it might seem that the tumor was quite tiny. She is most likely in a favorable circumstance. The discovery of malignancy after surgical procedures is not unheard of. It was difficult to determine the length of time that she'd be undergoing chemotherapy. Nonetheless, normal treatment consisted of around six rounds that were spaced out at intervals of three weeks. Therefore, a period of chemotherapy lasting between four and a half and six months would have to be considered a reasonably regular quantity in that preventative context. While it's certainly a positive development, sources close to Catherine have indicated she won't return to work until September at the earliest. No one wants to put any pressure on Catherine, one told last week. The only thing that matters at the moment is getting her better. She had been through an ordeal this year. The Princess of Wales had been out of the public eye for the majority of the year while undergoing treatment. The news that she was diagnosed with cancer resonated deeply with fans of the royal family. The princess has prioritized her well-being and treatment, resulting in a necessary break from official engagements. Details about her condition have been scarce throughout the process, but on Thursday, UK time, the palace confirmed that she would not be participating at the Colonel Review on June 8th. After being made Colonel-in-Chief of the Irish Guards in 2023, Catherine would ordinarily be expected to take the salute. However, the princess is understood to be considering making a surprise appearance on the Buckingham Palace balcony at this year's Trooping the Color. Sources are keen to emphasize that she will only return to duties when her doctors give her the all-clear to do so, though Kensington Palace is confident that Catherine will make a full recovery. If she could not join the main review, the source revealed that she may take to the palace balcony alongside other senior royals to watch the traditional RAF fly past. It comes as King Charles confirmed his attendance at the Trooping the Color on June 15th, weeks after resuming official duties on medical advice.